Welcome, welcome, vlog 47 or 48 um, on this 27th of December 2012. Hope everyone had a great Christmas. Um, and if you don't practice or the holiday or don't uh, celebrate the holiday Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy uh, Hanukkah. Um, and if you don't apply yourself to any kind of religious or uh, cultural celebrations um, happy to be a live day I guess you could say whatever so here we are we are in our new place um, we've been here almost two weeks it's uh, we're really loving it here and um, I wanted to touch on a few issues just because I haven't had a chance to really sit down and, and talk about it. actually I did a a lengthy video on the shooting and I ended up deleting it because I didn't like the way it kind of came out. Um, let me make sure this is still recording. Yeah, it's still recording. Okay, cool. Um, so I wanted to touch on these couple issues. Uh, there's a few issues I want to touch on. First of all, the school shooting in Connecticut. Terrible tragedy, as always, you know, when someone goes in and, and shoots up, you know, any kind of public place where innocent people get shot or killed uh, it's a tragedy to say it's not a tragedy is absolutely uh, retarded um, but you know there's a few things that really bother me about about this whole issue and the way that the country is perceiving this issue and, and discussing what should be done or what shouldn't be done to stop any kind of uh, mass shooting from happening First and foremost is that you're not going to prevent bad things from happening. There's always going to be murder. There's always going to be death and destruction. You can't regulate that. You can't stop it. It's a part of life. And people's mentality and minds go astray and they go crazy. And, um, you know, you can't stop this either by controlling guns, by controlling weapons. Uh, the only way we can do or hopefully stop this is, is to set by example and to protect ourselves. Now, banning guns is not the answer. Um, letting everybody carry guns is also not the answer either. But what I believe is that you know if you're gonna if you're gonna live in a in a society in which things like this do happen. Um, it's our responsibility to protect ourselves from people who may be mentally, you know, deranged, uh, people who are evil, who want to kill. Um, and I believe that this is done by responsible gun ownership and to give people the ability to conceal a gun um, and use it in times where... Um, crisis like this happen. It's better than not having any guns at all, um, as in the case with what happened in, in, in Portland with the kid who shot up the mall, and what happened in uh, Connecticut where people were, you know, people were running and hiding. You know, we, we, we need to get away from the mentality of hiding and calling the cops. When you got someone picking off people. Um, you need someone to run to where this is happening and take the threat out. And in that case, you need, you know, a couple individuals at particular institutions to be concealed, you know, have be trained to have a concealed firearm um, at all times. Um, I don't think that the police should be doing it because that conditions ourselves to live in a police state. I don't think military should be doing it. Um, and I don't necessarily think that, that privatizing people or privatized companies, uh, which, you know, security agencies are not the way, especially at schools, because, you know, you're taking away some innocence. I mean, obviously the world is not an innocent place, but when you've got, you know, little kindergartners being shot away, you don't want, you know, them to go through metal detectors every day. Um, there is a responsible and efficient way of doing that, and I believe that is through responsible gun ownership. Um, I, I'm not saying everyone should go out and get a gun, but I think someone should be trained in how to, uh, basically how like, you know, it, like police training, 
in the sense that, you know, to learn how to snipe off a threat and so on and so forth. Gun control is not the answer. It's more guns and responsible people's hands is the answer. But I guess the problem I have with the way our country looks at what's going on and what happened in, 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 uh, in Colorado and Connecticut and Portland is that, you know, uh, uh, taking away guns is, is the answer and it's not. Um, I also have a problem with the fact that Americans seem to get all up in arms about a tragedy like this, you know, where people get shot yet have no real concern about what our military is doing on a daily basis in countries like Pakistan where they're dropping drone bombs on innocent people on a daily basis. We don't care about those outside of our country. It's only when a tragedy happens on our soil, we go, oh my God, the children. Yet nobody gives a fuck about Obama, you know, having the, the worst drone attack, uh, predator drone attack record um, between him and Bush. You know, and Obama goes on TV and fake cries and wipes fake tears out of his eyes, yet he, he, he approves the bombing of innocent children and families and men and women across the world on a daily basis. So don't give me that shit. Obviously, when he says these were our children, he, he wants to, you know, politicize uh, the, uh, and, and tug on the heartstrings of his supporters and people around the world and um, you can't you can't forget that he approves the drone strikes that kill innocent children across the Middle East that that's that's what I have to say about that the whole thing and I just learned today this is the other thing I want to talk about that the FBI considered Occupy Wall Street a potential threat and a, a movement that did not have any aspects of violence, uh, peaceful, you know, occupation of public uh, property, um, and the FBI, according to Freedom of, of Freedom of Information Act papers that have been released under that act, show that the feds considered Occupy Wall Street a possible domestic threat, terrorist threat. So if you thought that spying of innocent civilians and peaceful protesters was only done under Bush, haha, -ha, it's done under Obama too. Obviously, because they consider any kind of grassroots movement a threat to the status quo because grassroots movements have a potential to make some real change. Obviously, the Occupy Wall Street was infiltrated by the extreme uh, socialists, extreme uh, communists, um, and became a joke. But the government is once again spying on people, and instead of uh, you know, keeping us safe. They're out targeting Occupy Wall Street. That's all I really want to talk about right now because my battery's almost dead on this. Um, hope all everybody has a great new year. Be safe out there. Um, from our new place, I send uh, best wishes. Adios.